Hi friends, how you guys doing today? Yes, how you guys are doing? I hope you all are doing well. I hope y'all being safe out there. And you know, I come to y'all today with some ribs, fries, and some bread. Um, I had got my ribs dry and I ended up putting me some sweet baby rays on it and putting it back in the oven to make that you know that that finishing touch on them and i also put the fries in there with the garlic baby my, i think i put my bread too hard but um i'm gonna put a little ketchup back here for my fries just a little bit um so yes you guys i'm about to dig in these ribs i'm hungry i've been waiting to eat all day didn't know what i was gonna eat so decided to come up with this and i hope it's satisfying i got um st louis ribs today um mm, they sticky y'all this may be this may get a little messy Ooh, I should have pulled them off this up. Ooh. Ooh, they fall off the bone. Look at that. Uh-oh. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I'm gonna just eat for a minute. Mmm. When they hot. Oh yeah, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. This is good right here. Y'all yeah, know I love bristles. I'm gonna chomp that gristle down. I love gristles. I like baby best, but I think that's one reason why I really like the St. Louis because they got gristles. The baby bags, they ain't really got gristles like that. Guess where it's at? <laughs> mm -mm. I've went too many times. <laughs> mm. Mm. Not but for real though. The pile around here is ridiculous. Like, I was looking at the news and they were just saying like if you suffer with allergies make sure you're taking stuff keep your allergies out of control so it won't turn into nothing worse you know so besides they vitamin my baby's vitamins i had bought them some third tech And some clarity because I'm like, mm mm. And we got these big old palm trees. Ain't no need for me to take my car through the car wash because probably gonna fall out on it. So. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. That was good. That was real good. I'm gonna take this and put my bones on that right up there. Yeah, that was good, y'all. I'm a hungry one. Mm. And they meaty. They hot too. Mm. Oh, they hot. But let me tell you, that sweet baby rays, that's the best 
barbecue sauce. Like sometimes, like I like I said, I get my ribs dry. Like if I'm ordering from somewhere, I get them dry rub, and I come and I mix up my own like different uh, sweet baby rays. This is the original and the honey, and I just put it on my top and put it back in the oven so it can get sticky and mm. marinate to that rub. Mm. I hope this time, like, y'all, like, I told my mama today, I was like, I'm going to say this time I had to write a book about my life or something, because. I don't know. It's a lot. My baby woke up this morning, he said, this time, mom, how long you think this going to last? And as a mother, it felt bad because I couldn't get him no answer because I we really don't know. Like nobody knows. It really is like a frequent change day by day with something. So I don't know. They got the Our Father Prayer. They've been working on that. Um, I've been having to work on that. And they pretty much got it down. Uh, close to it. Getting them to do schoolwork. Once they start doing it, it's manageable. But... It's like they get them up. I'm gonna start it. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. It's like, come on now. And I get it. Get home. Not like me working from home. It days well. I just don't want to do it <laughs> you just don't you home you you don't want to do nothing <laughs> like i don't know it's a lot but it's gonna be okay the only thing is that I'm trying to really stay, you know, keep my mind busy and don't go idle. You know, I don't suck this water. I don't suffer from like, I suffer from depression, but not to the point where I need to be medicated. Like, it's controllable. But being secluded to make you just your mind go idle and all types of thoughts and things should happen you know with your mind that's why like we got to keep the mind busy like even with my kids like sometimes when they play the games i'm like y'all gotta do something else because i don't think your mind is wrapped around just playing that game so that's an email from work. <laughs> but. Other than that, we holding up. Doing a lot of laughing. Sleep schedule all off. But that's always been my case. So. Ain't nothing new for me. Um. My babies are big, fast, and furious fans, so um, we watch Tokyo Drift for the 14 million times. <laughs> so, 
but they like it so Mm. This bread, y'all. I'm gonna taste it, but I think I made it too hard. Well, I put, I should have put it the last thing in there instead of putting it on the sheet. Cause this comes straight out of the oven. I should let this cook, let my fries crisp back up. I'm then right before I'm gonna take it out of the store, then I just look warm through. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah, y'all. I usually like my crispy but soft in the middle, anyway. But that. <laughs> Yes, Crystal. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on my third bone, y'all. Uh oh, they're sticking. Mm, I don't like that. I've been taking a lot of this time out because it's a time of rest, I think, and to reevaluate some things. And I really had to step back and reevaluate some things that's going on with me. Like, I am so. Toxic. No, I'm not so toxic. My way of thinking is so toxic from me living vicariously through other people. Like, I've never been, and I ate all my lips ago, I've never been like truly in love with somebody, you know? But I don't see what from from the outside looking in, what it's like to be like, you know, in love with somebody or the ideal of it. And when it don't work, when that person hurts you, you know, you you scray away from them or whatever the case may be. So I don't live by curiosity through like people that's been close to me and them being in love with somebody and then when all the shit hit the fan. It's like, damn. But you was in love with me. You know? Well, I was in love with you. How can you hurt me like that? For so like me, I've never been in love. I have cared about somebody so much. But never to the point where I feel like I'm gonna get stupid. And that has caused me to be so, either you here or you not with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I don't always take in consideration of the effects of, of how other people feel. Because I'm, I'm always worried about how I feel. So, and it's kind of selfish, but it's like, I feel like if I ain't looking out for me, then who won't, who, you know what I'm saying, like, who really gonna look out for me? I think the ideal of somebody hurting me, who I gave my all to, or who I was vulnerable for, I mean, the, the ideal of that scares me, you know? It really does.
in my last situation, like, I cared about him a lot because I did a, that was my first person that I did a lot of stuff with, you know, for inducing to my kids and stuff like that. Um, it's to the point where uh, it was so much damage from both ends done that the good did not outweigh the bad. And I feel like I hate them. You know, like, I hate their guts. And I know that's such a strong word, but it's like, the thought of them. Like, how could you do me like that? Like, I don't know, it's vice versa. You know, and they're probably saying, well, you did some stuff too. How could you do me like that? But when I think about the overall situation, they really did me fucked up. I mean, they really did me messed up. Excuse my language. They really did. They did me dirty. And then they like, and then they say, oh, you playing the blame game. But, you know, I shot back this message. You gonna blame me for everything that you think that I did wrong? And I'm gonna blame you for what I think you did wrong. Now, the biggest thing that either one of us could do is take ownership. I felt like I did. I felt like I said, you know what? I was wrong. I should have never did X, Y, and Z. You right. I was wrong. Forgive me. But it, it's up to them to forgive me or not. You know what I'm saying? Just like it's up, up to me to forgive them. You know? And so, it's like... My mind is so like... I'm not in the business of keeping people who don't want to be kept. Period. And I don't care whether it's a friendship, a relationship, or whatever. I'm not. And I'm not the person to just argue just to argue. You know, so I'm not one of them type of girls. Like, if I'm arguing or if I'm not necessarily arguing like when I'm yelling, but if I'm in an argumentative mode meaning me expressing myself it's a reason i ain't doing that just to be doing it oh yeah it's a reason why i'm acting this way or saying what i'm saying or feeling the way i'm feeling i ain't got time to be wasting like we too grown like it's 2020 like i don't got time i do not for nobody for nobody in their bs i don't I don't care. Like, you're not going to tell me that you care. But I get mad. And then you disappear too. That ain't showing that you care. Especially if you the one. You the reason why I'm mad. Like, I don't know. Mm -mm. And when you and when you try to beat me getting mad. Or try to justify a situation by not. I guess calling or you know checking on me whatever the case may be only thing that tell me is all the bull crap that you were saying you never meant it anyway you know what I'm saying? so i call you call you on your bs i call it like i see it you know what i'm saying and i know i'm extra i'll block you go days hours without talking to you but I'm not manipulative with my words. I say what I mean and how I feel. So I never, I'm never gonna say that I care about you, and not, and my actions don't follow. You see what I'm saying? So if you tell me that you love me and that you care about me, I feel like your actions should follow what you're saying out your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't tell me that you care about me and you love me, but I get mad and I cut you off and you don't fight for me. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's let me know, like. It's, it's that easy for you to let me go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. Because if I say that I care about you and I love you or you mean something to me, I'm going to show you that. If you get mad at me, I'm texting you. I'm calling you. Hell, I might even pop up like, you done? You done being mad? You know? That's just me. But everybody not like that. You know what I'm saying? I know that I kind of got that old school way of thinking in a new millennium but 
I'm not going to let my standards down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I, I'm not going to let my standard down for any beyond, though. I want somebody who actions add up to what they're saying. I want somebody to fight for me. Because when I get serious with somebody, I'm going to fight for them. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody who's not going to give up on me. Like, that's what I really want. And that's the person who I'm going to be with. I'm gonna be, that's the person who I'm going to fall stupid, dumb, in love with. And it's kind of sad. You know? I'm 30. And I never really experienced that. The only thing I have experienced is loving somebody or caring about somebody so much, but not enough to fight for. You know what I'm saying? If they want to go, they can go. I guess it was mutual because they let me go too. So, know how that goes. My time will come because I pray. I have to be careful. I have, you know, kids who are preteens. For anybody coming in their life at this point, it's like <clears throat> they could still form a bond. But I don't know how the authority will be, you know, handled. So, you know. My last situation, I learned, I learned a lot about myself. I learned what I'm really willing to put up with, with somebody. Like, I already had standards. But being in that made me realize what I'm going to tolerate and what I'm not going to tolerate. What I can handle and what I can't handle. And it's a lot of things that I know that I can't handle. And I don't want, I, I don't think I'll, maybe if that's the person who I actually was supposed to be with, then I could go through it with them. Because, because the love will be real so we can get through anything. So, in my last situation, we was going through some issues, and I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be living like that. So, I flee. You know what I'm saying? But if it was somebody who I feel like I genuinely probably was in love with and wanted to be with, I would have stuck through the pain, through it all, because I would have knew we would have overcome it. Overcome it. But in that situation, I didn't see no hope. I didn't see no reason to be there like I was feeling all kind of emotions, empty, like a lot of stuff, like, and at the end of the day, I knew I lost a good friend, but not a good companion, so, but nah, can't stand them, can't stand them, you know, whatsoever, like the thought of So, well, I'm praying that God mend my heart from that. Because it's been a minute, like a minute, minute. So, ain't no need to hold on to that toxicness. But, like I said, I do know My last situation and living vicariously through other people has made me, made my, my, my thought process really toxic. Like, words ain't enough for me. It's not. <laughs> words are not enough for me. Yeah, I hate one, two, three, four, five. I ate five bones out of my five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I ate half of the bones, y'all. I did good. I did good. And mm. well, you guys, I just wanted to come to you with a video. 
I mean, ain't too much more you could do besides chill with your family and pray if that's what you like to do. Interact with your family and like I told y'all, I'm just, you know, stay home. <laughs> stay home. Be with your family and your loved ones and stay home and not these people's stoves and streets and all of that. Get on TikTok. Do something to occupy your time and energy. But stay home so so our reality of a world can come back. Because right now, huh? Ooh. Uh oh. Thought I weighed something. Cut me heavy. Excuse me. That I did, I did wait a little something. But but yeah. Stay home, y'all. <laughs> I do wanna eat like they so sticky. And they stuck to my four. They're so good. Mm. So, so good. The perfect amount of sweetness. Well, hmm, brother. I'm going to cut it off here, y'all. I'm probably going to go outside. I have me and the boys take a walk around the neighborhood. That's all we really can do. Probably bounce their ball for a little while. And come on back in. They have put Florida on the um shit on the lockdown, so for real. Just stay home, y'all. It's better that way. It really is. Cause apparently they ain't playing with this playing about this thing. But I love you guys. I hope you guys are being safe. Please follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. All the information will be in the description box below. I love, love, love you guys. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And support your girl on this upcoming journey. And you know, we're going to do, do the thing. You rocking, I'm rolling. You feel me? So, until next time, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. And stay home! <laughs>